two-sentence horror. The fortune teller said that drinking would be the end of me, so I focused on my health and quit alcohol forever. But just before he put me under for a routine operation, I could smell the liquor on the anesthesiologist's breath as he asked me to count backwards from ten. The creepy guy across from me on the train hasn't stopped staring, so I pull out my phone to secretly take a photo, just in case. My guts sink in panic when my phone's torch flashes into his eyes, until I realize his pupils never contracted in the sudden bright light. Live one year without your greatest talent, and you get one billion dollars, was a deal I could not pass on, so I accepted it. I can't breathe. Help me! I'm trapped! cried the little girl through the freshly uncovered gaps in the rubble. Fuck that! yelped the archaeologist as he hurriedly placed back the ancient tombstones. Being a young single dad, it took me two years to save enough money to take my five-year-old daughter to Disney World. Once we entered the Magic Kingdom, I let her run free and smiled as my financial problems disappeared with her. They say you only die when you're forgotten. I lie in my coffin as I have for the last 1,000 years, waiting for the sweet release of death. I wish I had never cured cancer. The only guilt the woman had was that she was going to leave her son in a world full of monsters, like those who were filming her. Jump, her son commented on the grainy live stream of a woman standing on the guardrail of a bridge. I'm sorry, you're just not my type, she said. Recovering in the burn unit, she wished she had said yes. I made the wrong choice when a man broke into my house at night and forced me to choose who would die between me and my daughter. Now I can't do anything because I'm a ghost, and all I can do is watch him do horrible things to her, right next to my body, stabbed, bloody, and dead. After a horrible car accident, my previously comatose daughter worked hard to write the answers to the doctor's questions, squinting through her bandages. I was so proud, at least until the doctor asked her name, and she wrote the name of her best friend who had been buried a week prior. I was hired to set up and monitor security cameras at my daughter's school, but I found a frightening pattern when the tapes are at 100x speed. The hill the school sits on is breathing. As soon as time travel is invented, I travel back to the day my eight-year-old daughter was kidnapped, determined to find out who took her. As I'm driving up to her last known location, near the quiet park, a young girl runs right in front of the car, but I'm unable to react quick enough. You couldn't kill 100 people with a single bullet, they laughed, so I pointed my gun towards the submarine's air tank and pulled the trigger to prove it. I have slain all the soldiers in your skeleton army. It's time for you to give up now. Ah, uh, but you forgot one said the evil wizard, as I began to feel a strange itch deep in my bones. Happy ten-year anniversary, my wife declared, as she began spoon-feeding me a piece of cake. I struggled weakly against my shackles as she fed me. I wish I never asked for a divorce. Finding myself surrounded by zombies and vampires, both crawling towards me attracted by the scent of my blood, I thanked our gun laws for the first time as I started shooting them one by one. Totally ruined the Halloween party, though. This Halloween skeleton is perfect, my mother complimented the decorations, not noticing me shaking silently in rage. Dead or not, my sister would always be perfect. I truly love Halloween so much. It's the only time of the year I can use my victims' recorded screams and skeletons, and they think it's ambiance. I ran faster and faster, back and forth between the two rooms of the hospital, my wife bleeding out in one room and my newborn son struggling to breathe in the other. I am still not sure who stopped me from running in the end, the tear-streaked pediatrician or the defeated surgeon. Mommy, it stung me when I tried to poke your leg. I thought told my son so many times, blue to the sky, orange to the thigh, if mommy can't breathe. I managed to kill the Demon King, even though the ancient text says he is immortal. 
as the memories of atrocities flash through my mind and I feel two horns protrude from my head. I realized what they meant.